Hey kiddos, welcome back to math class. Last time I saw you, we were talking about capacity and we were mentioning how capacity means that we're either holding more or an object can hold less. And we looked at a bunch of different containers earlier last time and you helped me find out which glass container is gonna give me the most water because I was so thirsty. Whew, I promise you, I couldn't have done it without you. Well, today we're gonna keep today's lesson short, sweet, and simple. We're just going to be reviewing capacity for one more time. Now, on this paper, if you need to go grab it, just hit the pause button and grab this paper and a pencil. If you already have this and you're ready to go, let's dive right on in. On this paper, we are comparing capacity. And we need to draw a line from the object on the left, so this side, and this that holds less than the matching object on the right that holds more. So these items they already told us can hold less. And these items on the right, they hold more. So look at our first picture. It is of a pail. Excellent. Which picture on the right shows what holds more? Is it the glass, the pot, the pail, or the wooden box? Which one matches? Oh, there it is, the pail down there. Excellent, we're gonna draw a line matching them together. Awesome job. Okay, let's look at our next item. It looks like it's a wooden box and we know that this one holds less. Let's see if we can connect it to the matching wooden box. Is it there? Don't think so. What about right there? Nope. We already matched the pail. <gasps> I found it. Okay, let's draw a line connecting the two wooden boxes. Does this wooden box on the right hold more than the wooden box on the left? Yep, it does. Let's look at this one. This one looks like a cup. Let's see if you can beat me to drawing the line to matching the cup. That one we know holds less. Mm. Oh, I found it. See if you can beat me. Whoa, you're so fast. That's amazing. Great job, kiddos. We have one more on this page. Let's see. There's one picture left. Does this item hold less? than this item on the right. Look at their sizes, are they different? They are. All right, let's match them. Doop. Well, was that hard? I didn't think so. Let's do the second page together. This time, we're gonna switch it up. If you see the object that holds more, I want you to draw a line from the object that holds more to the object that holds less. We're gonna do a few together. Are you ready? We're gonna start at the top. This looks like a watering pail. Does this watering pail or watering can hold more or less than any of the items on the other side? It holds more. Is there a picture on this side that matches our watering can? Oh, I found it. Okay. Let's draw a line from the bigger watering can, which holds more, to the watering can that holds less. If you need these directions repeated, please feel free to hit the pause button and rewind the video. If you know what to do, excellent, let's keep rolling. All right, number two looks like a water pitcher or something we pour water out of. Let's see, is, does this item hold more? or hold less than the items on this side where my pointer is. It holds more. Let's see, is there an item that matches our picture? Whoop, passed it, found it. <laughs> there we go. Let's draw a line connecting these two. We're gonna draw a line from the object that holds more to the object that holds less. Here we go. Excellent. All right, we're gonna do this last one together and then I want you to do the last two on your own. This looks like a pot for flowers. 
Does this pot hold more or less than the objects on the left? It holds more. Now, is there a picture on the left that matches our pot? I found it. All right, let's see if you can beat me to drawing this line. We're gonna draw a line from the pot that, has, that can hold more to the pot that can hold less. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go. Did you beat me? Oh, you're just so fast. Oh my wow. I wish I was as fast as you. Well, excellent job, kiddos. I'm so proud of you. You have two more to do. You're going to do this bucket and the bowl. You are going to draw a line from the object which holds more water to the object that holds less. All right, both times you're gonna draw from the object that, has, that holds more to the object that holds less. Do those two on your own. And then that's it for math today. If you wanna do some more experimenting with the cups and the measuring cups, feel free to do that to keep working on your capacity. Find out which container can hold more and which container holds less. There's so many opportunities that you can do. Well, that's all I have for today. So until next time, kiddos, you have a wonderful day.